smart one. I'm making my twist on a classic slaw dish. The cheat code for me will be collard greens and this tangy, refreshing version of a slaw. So it's collard green slaw. How you chop your vegetables in this dish is an underrated but really key component. I'm starting with fresh collard greens as opposed to bag. I'm just breaking these down. You want to make these into really tight shreds. So I'm going to roll this up like a cigar and then cut this into really thin strips that'll aid with the cooking time. And I put that in air quotes because not, we're not really cooking anything. But the size of the vegetables really matters. You really want these to have time to break down. So I'm treating the onions the same way, cutting them into thin strips. I'm gonna do the same with the cabbage. But first, I'm gonna start by removing the core and those dirty outer leaves before I slice and shred my cabbage. Use size, whatever you need for your serving size, depending on how many you're cooking for. Green onions next. Again, small, sliced thin. Wash those greens well. Then we're gonna use the lime juice. This is a really critical ingredient along with the olive oil and the red wine vinegar. You don't see the red wine vinegar here, but note that I did add it along with salt and pepper. That's gonna be my sauce, my dressing that I'm going to use to quote unquote cook the slaw. Next, I'm just gonna assemble all the vegetables. I got my green onions, cabbage, red onions. Then I'm gonna add this feta cheese. You can add another salted grated cheese, but that was my favorite. I'm gonna add the sauce, add the dressing or vinaigrette, whatever you wanna call it, and give it a nice mix. Once I mixed it well and thoroughly, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm actually gonna set this to the side and let it marinate so all of those flavors can kind of come together. It needs a little bit of time. And also you need the acid and the vinegar and the lime to cook the greens and the vegetables, get rid of that bitterness and add a little more sweetness, a little more tang. And that's it. I like to eat this as a salad or a slaw or a topping on sandwiches or with chicken. This slaw is tangy, refreshing. If you dig it, leave me a like, comment, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Thank you, peace.